Hello friends, welcome back to another episode by Engineering Today, and I hope you're all having a great time. SpaceX is gearing up for its seventh test flight of the Starship Mega Rocket, which could happen in about a month. On December 9th, SpaceX conducted a static fire test with the Super Heavy first stage booster for Flight 7. The test, held at the Starbase facility in South Texas, briefly ignited the booster's 33 Raptor engines, marking another step toward the next launch. The company shared photos and a video of the test on social media, generating significant attention. Although SpaceX hasn't officially announced a launch date, reports suggest that January 11, 2025 is the target. An email from NASA to the U.S. Federal Aviation Administration mentioned this date and outlined plans to deploy a Gulfstream 5 jet to observe the flight. This has fueled excitement about what could be another milestone for SpaceX's ambitious Starship program. On a separate note, a fascinating exchange between Sundar Pichai, CEO of Alphabet, and Elon Musk unfolded on social media on the same day. Pichai introduced Google's latest quantum computing breakthrough, a chip called Willow, which can solve complex computations in under five minutes, something that would take a supercomputer longer than an age of the universe. Musk, clearly impressed, responded with a single word, wow. Pichai then proposed a forward-thinking idea, creating a quantum computing cluster in space using Starship. Musk agreed, saying that will probably happen and shifted the conversation to discuss broader technological advancements. He referenced the Kardashev scale, which measures a civilization's technological progress based on energy consumption. Musk noted that humanity is still far from reaching Type 1 on the scale, highlighting the need for larger-scale solar energy adoption. Pichai agreed, emphasizing the untapped potential of solar energy. The exchange quickly gained attention online, with many praising the open dialogue between two tech leaders. Observers on social media described it as a rare opportunity to witness groundbreaking ideas being shared in real time. Google's announcement about Willow also captured widespread interest. The company highlighted the chip's ability to perform calculations that are exponentially faster than those achieved by today's most advanced supercomputers. This development marks a significant leap in quantum computing, opening up possibilities for solving challenges previously thought insurmountable. As SpaceX prepares for Starship's next test flight, this collaboration of ideas between Musk and Pichai underscores the intersection of advanced technology and visionary leadership. The coming months hold promise for both space exploration and quantum computing, with each pushing the boundaries of what's possible. On the other hand, Artemis II has been delayed from September 2025 to April 2026. This decision stems from ongoing investigations into hardware issues including the Orion spacecraft's heat shield. During the Artemis I mission, Orion's heat shield faced extreme conditions upon re-entry, with temperatures reaching nearly 5,000 degrees Fahrenheit. While it protected the spacecraft effectively, the erosion patterns exceeded expectations, revealing areas of material degradation. NASA has since adjusted its re-entry plans and heat shield design to address these findings. Despite these hurdles, NASA emphasizes safety as its top priority. Officials assure that every aspect of the mission is being meticulously reviewed to ensure the astronauts' well-being and mission success. A critical component of Artemis' future lies in SpaceX's Starship rocket. NASA is considering launching Starship alongside Artemis II to simulate and rehearse the maneuvers needed for the first crewed moon landing under Artemis III. This approach could provide valuable insights and smooth the transition into more complex missions. Starship, known for its rapid development and testing, has become an integral part of NASA's strategy. The rocket is designed to land astronauts on the lunar surface, 
marking a significant step forward in returning humans to the moon. NASA is also navigating a period of transition in leadership. Administrator Bill Nelson, who has guided the Artemis program through critical phases, will step down at the end of the year. The incoming administration, under President-elect Donald Trump, has nominated Jared Isaacman as the next NASA administrator. Isaacman, who has previously commanded two SpaceX missions, brings a strong connection to SpaceX's human spaceflight initiatives. This leadership change could bring fresh perspective to Artemis, particularly in streamlining operations and addressing cost overruns. For example, NASA's upgrades to the Space Launch System have experienced significant delays and budget increases. Resolving these issues while integrating SpaceX's capabilities will be vital for maintaining momentum in the Artemis program. Artemis represents more than just a return to the moon. It's a stepping stone toward a sustainable human presence in space. NASA envisions using lunar missions to establish a foundation for eventual crewed missions to Mars. With SpaceX's collaboration, these aspirations are closer to becoming a reality. But one thing we should remember is that Elon Musk's leadership has always been about breaking barriers, and nowhere is this more evident than in the space industry. As the head of SpaceX, Musk has set the company miles ahead of any competitor. With reusable rockets and groundbreaking projects, SpaceX dominates the field, leaving rivals struggling to keep up. Jeff Bezos' Blue Origin is SpaceX's most prominent rival, however, it is still far from posing a serious threat. Its current offering, New Shepard, doesn't even reach orbit and is primarily used for brief tourist trips. The company's next step, the New Glenn rocket, aims to compete with SpaceX by being both reusable and capable of carrying 45 tons into orbit. Although promising, New Glenn lags behind Starship in capacity and reusability. Furthermore, questions remain about whether Blue Origin can produce and launch New Glenns at the pace needed to rival SpaceX's efficiency. Bezos' plans to use New Glenn for his Project Kuiper satellite constellation could bring some momentum, but the gap between Blue Origin and SpaceX is still significant. Other companies, like the United Launch Alliance, represent the old guard of the space industry. ULA's Vulcan Centaur rocket is a step forward but lacks the innovation of modern reusable designs. With only one launch since January, it struggles to compete with even SpaceX's Falcon 9, let alone Starship. Smaller firms like Rocket Lab and Firefly Aerospace are also entering the market, but their rockets target niche markets with far lower payload capacities. For instance, Rocket Lab's Electron can carry just 320 kilograms, and its upcoming Neutron rocket will only manage 13 tons. Similarly, Firefly's Alpha and planned larger models are far from matching the capabilities of SpaceX's fleet. SpaceX has also earned a strong position within the U.S. space program. While concerns about monopolies exist, SpaceX's ability to deliver results consistently outweighs these fears. NASA, the Department of Defense, and private citizens all depend heavily on SpaceX's launch capabilities. Smaller firms and traditional players may provide some variety, but they lack the resources and vision to challenge SpaceX in any meaningful way. Even as new players enter the market, SpaceX's lead continues to grow, making it nearly impossible for rivals to catch up. However, in a quiet clearing above the town of Vernon in Normandy, France, engineers are working on a steel cylinder that represents Europe's ambitious attempt to compete with SpaceX. The cylinder is part of a reusable rocket being delivered by Maya Space, a subsidiary of Ariane Group, Europe's largest rocket manufacturer. Their goal? To launch Europe's first partially reusable rocket by 2026, targeting small commercial satellites. However, as things stand, SpaceX's dominance remains unmatched. SpaceX doesn't just read the race, it defines it. For now, Europe can only hope to narrow the gap, but matching SpaceX's achievements is a distant goal. And that's all for now. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting.
and kindly provide your valuable feedback in the comment section. This will help us to improve.